All right, um, so ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple rules that we need to apply with this, all right? The first rule, um, Dustin, that we need to make sure that we understand is remember if we have a, if we have an x, if we have a base raised to a negative exponent, okay, or any, any exponent, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative or if it's rational, but any negative exponent, that equals one to the x to the m, all right? The other thing that also kind of works out, if you have x over y raised to the negative m, that is going to be just simply equal to the reciprocal of y over x raised to the m, right? Because remember, you take the reciprocal. x raised to the negative m equals the reciprocal of that to the positive value, right? So therefore, what's the reciprocal of x over y? y over x, OK? So if you have a fraction, you need to make sure that you take the reciprocal of it, and then you can put it to the positive power. Now, the other rule that we need to make sure we understand is if I have x to the uh, x over y to the m, by using the power of quotient property, we know that that equals x to the m over y to the m. Right? OK. So what we're going to first do on this problem, what I'd like to do is let's rewrite this as a positive exponent. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 3 over 4 to the 1 half power. Does everybody agree with me on that? OK. Then I can distribute that and rewrite this as 3 to the 1 half over 4 to the 1 half. Now, we can't subtract our bases, all right, because we know that, or I'm sorry, we can't subtract our exponents because our bases are not the same. However, let's see if we can simplify this, because all it's asking us to do is just to simplify. Well, remember, last rule x to the 1 over m is equal to the m root of x to the first power. So 4 to the 1 half power is equal to the square root of 4. And do we know what the square root of 4 is? 2. So we could leave this as a rational exponent. Or you could write it as the square root of 3 over 2 as a radical exponent. But that would be your simplified form. OK? And that's it.